Well, you join me today on a bit of a stroll in the woods. Uh, it's very, very, very misty today, very damp. But any excuse to get out. Um, so yeah, we're going to go for a bit of a walk. Um, find somewhere dryish to set down. Um, and then we're going to do a bit of a cook up in the woods, have some nice hot lunch. Uh, and see what wildlife we can see. Hopefully, it's going to be a lovely day. Once this mist clears, there should be a bit of clear sky, or a bit of clear sky. And uh, yeah, see what wildlife we can spot. All in all, it should be a pretty good day. Let's see how we get on. Cheers. Almost gone. Ah, oh. oh. we made it. Right. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do is going to cook up a little bit of a vegetable stew um, nice and easy I'm going to be using the my Yugoslavian mess set kit which I've had now for a couple of years maybe um, doesn't get as used as much now but I thought today would be a perfect opportunity to put this one another go. Obviously a lot of you are probably familiar with the Yugoslavian mess. You're all probably fairly uh, familiar with it. A nice cooking pot. My only, huh, my only criticism is this, is you can't lock the handle out. So when you do want to turn and pour, it tends to fold in itself. So you've got to be a little bit careful. But today we're just going to be doing a, uh, a stew. So shouldn't need to pour it I'll be pretty much eating it out of the pan with this it does come with a couple of uh, pots and cups so if you were wanting to boil up some water and make a cup of coffee you could use that as a cup um, or alternately uh, use this as your as your bowl for your dinner but I probably will only be using I'll be eating it straight out of that Another good thing with the Yugoslavian mess is it does come with a water bottle which fits nicely in there for, for transport. Um, so I will, I have that filled with water and that water there will be used for the stew, probably way too much but also it will be used to put the fire out in the um, cook stove as well. Um, okay so I have my nice big bottle of water. Don't go anywhere about this. Um, perfect, nice wide mouth. Ideal for picking up water in the stream. Uh, and then if you have the, the soil water filter, you can obviously uh, use that to fill your bag up for your soil and then put it in here or vice versa, pick this up from the stream and pour it in your bag, one or the other. Nice and easy, very good bit of kit. And if you have a carabiner on it as well, you can hook it off your bag if you want to, um, which I have done. No need today. Uh, okay, so cracking a little knife, uh, the Mora companion knife. I think it probably cost me like 10, 12 quid or something. Um, and it's, I, I use it for everything for preparing food, for pretty much everything. Obviously, I do wash it as well. Um, yeah, and then a nice little bit of an axe just for the it's needed I'm not sure if we need it today it is very 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 wet today so it's going to be fun trying to find some dryish wood for this so 
with that in mind, I do have with me my other cook set, which again is a cracking piece, which I'll probably use to make the coffee with later. Uh, it's a Stanley Adventure cook set. Um, perfect. The one thing I love about this, obviously, it comes with two nesting cups. Don't always carry two, to be honest. Usually just the one and then fill it with whatever I need as well. But when I pour it, it doesn't fold on itself, so it's nice. Um, I've made stews in this, I've made soups, I've done hot drinks, whatever. It's pretty much used for anything. Um, and I have seen you can create a little arm on the top there so you can hang it over your fire as well. But uh, no need for that today. So yeah, nice couple of nesting cups. Like I said, I did bring probably way too much than I need today, but I'm not far from home. Uh, and it wasn't too much of a hike, so it doesn't really matter about the weight of the pack. Um, okay, so like I said, it's going to be very difficult to find any dry wood and such. So what I do have is a couple of these little fire tablets. I'm not 100% sure what they're calling them now, um, but they, they're very good for this sort of condition. Pop them in there. Um, and they burn, they burn quite well. So hopefully with any wood that I do have in the twig stove, I'll put these in as well, and it should just help it along. Um, and failing that is the good old cotton wool and Vaseline. So a couple of those in the twig stove, and then uh, with my fire still, wherever that is. Spark this off there. Again, this is really used, this is, but away she goes. And um, that'll ignite this cotton wool covered in Vaseline really well. And it burns really quite a while, to be fair, um, which will help no end with the, uh, with the twig stove. So going on to the twig stove, I have a bit of thing with stoves. I've bought so many different types of stoves, um, and I still will buy many different types of stoves. But at the moment, let me get this out, it's quite noisy. So at the moment, this little stove seems to be doing the trick. Um, one thing I like about it obviously is when you do have your pot on the top, you can and you, um, add more fuel to the fire through this little square here. Um, so there's no need to take the pot off the top, which some of my other stoves you do, you remove the pot from the top and then have to put the fire in, uh, the, the fuel in the top there. So um, this does help no end by just putting the wood in here or whatever you have. Um, so, that's, so that's really good. So yeah, so I'm pretty tough with that one so far. Um, my only criticism maybe, uh, it's, it's a little bit, not flimsy, it's a little bit light. Obviously, it's a bit heavier when you've got your, your, your wood and whatnot in there, but it is a little bit light. Uh, and maybe go towards one of those square fireboxes that fold away into a very thin pouch, which might actually help with st stowing it in the, in the pack as well. So, But pretty happy with that so far. So basically, uh, that's what I have today. All I need now is a bit of firewood. So... I will um, catch up with you in a sec. I'm just going to go and have a little hunt around, see if I can find something, and get this get this cooking. Right. So while that's kind of burning away and getting ready, I am going to prep the vegetables. And like I said, we've got a potato. Leeks, carrots, and shallots. So let's chop it up and stick it in the pan. Let's see what we have here. Okay. So, right, a couple of things.
some of this I did collect along the way, I'm not going to lie. So it has been um, in my bag. A bit drier on the walk. So hopefully it should be okay. Fingers crossed. And I still have my little tabs in case um, it just doesn't want to take. So worst case scenario, we'll have that. So let's carry on and cut these carrots up. So what we're going to do is we're just going to probably have taken way too much veg here. To see a horse along the way. Oh, it's cooking nicely. That smells good as well. We just keep adding a bit to the fire, and then um, hopefully it'll be ready to. Okay, so the food is pretty much done now. That looks good, nice and nice and cooked. Mm. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick that on there, so I can cook myself up a nice. Thing. So I bring the camera. Basically, I've got a nice bit of vegetable stew, a little bit watery, but nevertheless. <sighs> nice and hot and tasty. Mmm. Warms inside big style, that is. Oh. Maybe I'll let that cool for a little bit. But that's proper tasty. And then we're going to have ourselves a little cup of coffee to go with it. And then we'll let that fire burn out. Make sure it's completely out. And uh, sit back, have some lunch, and uh, then probably start packing up and.
the good thing about the stove. It done off burn well. And this wood's fairly bloody it's sorry. This wood's fairly well wet, it's quite damp, but it's still burning really, really well. And that's pretty much boiled that. Yeah, she's boiling. So I'll let that make myself a cup of coffee. I'm going to sit here and enjoy my stew and a cup of coffee and I'll catch up with you in a bit. Okay, so we're all packed up now. Well, pretty much. i uh, just got to tidy up a little bit of mess around here. Uh, having another little coffee before I head on my way. But I just want to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I want to do this a bit more regular. Get out in the woods, do a bit of cook up. Um, spot a bit of wildlife. There hasn't been much about today, probably because I went a bit too loud and maybe the conditions haven't been too great. Uh, but the mist has lifted and it's kind of turning into an alright day. It's, it's not raining, so it's a bonus. Um, the stew was really nice, very warming, uh, filled me up, so that, uh, that's done me for the day. But yeah, I uh, got about a 40 minute walk back to the car and then about a 10-15 minute drive back home, so not too far at all. So yeah, no, but once again, uh, thank you for watching. Um, hit subscribe, thumbs up if you like the video, and hopefully there'll be a few more on the channel shortly. Thank you very much.